in a titration, you're using a, usually a neutralization reaction of some kind. So most titrations are acid base titrations. And so what you would do here is you might have a situation where you're working for a company and there's some chemical that you are measuring uh, or working with and you want to know how much of this do I have, right? You've got this sample, maybe it's in a beaker or something, you've got this sample of some solid and you want to know this chunks of solid and how many, how much of it is actually there? What's the quantity in moles of this substance? How many molecules do I actually have? So if that solid is an acid or a base, let's say it's an acid, and there are thousands and thousands of different acids. Most of them are weak, but it could be some acid. If I want to know how many moles of the acid do I have, I would set up a titration where I would add, usually in a burette, which is a long narrow tube that has uh, uh, the ability for you to open and close here and really nice graduations that are real close together. So I would start with a volume of a base with a known volume and known molarity. <coughs> then I would probably add an indicator or I would use a pH probe to monitor the pH during the reaction. So then what's going to happen is I'm going to have my acid And I'm going to slowly open this and allow the base to drop in. The base, when it hits the acid, is going to grab this H plus and do the reaction. The H plus will be transferred to the base. <coughs> So in the beginning when I've only added a little bit of base, to start off, the pH will be very low. All below pH because I've got mostly acid. And whatever the indicator is, it will have H pluses attached to it, and so it will that will give a certain color. I'll call that color one. And so I see a certain color in my indicator or I'm using pH probe, I measure a low pH because I still have extra acid. Then as I slowly add this base here, and if I only add a little bit, I still have more acid than I have base. So the pH is still low, although it might be slowly going up a little bit because I have less acid. The indicator is still mostly pronated with H pluses because I still have extra acid. Then there will be a point during the titration, and I do this quantitatively, where after a certain period of time, I've measured, a, I've added a certain amount of the base. Now I reach a lower level. At this volume, or at some volume that I can measure, the reaction is neutralized. So at some point, I'm adding that base little by little, I find a point where the base is able to grab these H pluses from the indicator and it gets converted into a different color because the molecule structure has changed. And now the pH is either seven or over seven because now the OH minus has neutralized all the acid. I don't have any acid left. So I can use this volume here, this difference in volume, the change in volume, I can use that with the, uh, the change in volume will be the amount of base added. I can use that and multiply it by the molarity of the base, right, and volume in liters 
times molarity in moles per liter, that equals moles. Because the liters cancel. So, so effectively in a titration, what I've done is I've added enough base and just the right amount of base to fully neutralize the acid. And the indicator or pH probe tells me when that occurs. At the point when I've added the exact amount of base necessary to neutralize the acid, I'm at the equivalence point. That means that the acid and base are present in equivalent quantities. They're neutralizing one another. I don't really have extra of either one. Since the base was added in solution, and I know the amount of moles per liter in this volume, that tells me I know how many moles of base exactly were needed to neutralize all that acid, and I know now how many moles of acid were there because the base and the acid react in the balanced equation. And if I know what the acid and base are, I can balance this equation. Usually it'll come out to be one to one. So usually one mole of base, or but let's say it just took 0.8 moles of base to get to the equivalence point to neutralize the acid. That means I must have started with 0.8 moles of acid. So I know how much acid is there. So that's used a lot in industry as a method of quality control. There's a lot of industry where you might be working with metals, you might have to react it a, a metal part in an acid bath or a base bath to treat the surface of the metal and passivate the surface of the metal. You've got to maintain this acid or base bath at a certain uh, a quantity of acid or base in there. So you take a little sample out of the bath to test it. You do a titration. You find out how much acid or base is actually in this bath. If it's not the right level, you adjust it by adding whatever chemical you need to add. Or in the pharmaceutical industry, you might have you might use a titration like this to quantify the dosage in a pill, right? So for example, aspirin is an acid. It's a weak acid. So you want to do quality control on your aspirin pills to make sure that the right dosage is in there and people aren't overdosing on aspirin. You take one of the pills, you dissolve it in water, you titrate it with the base. The base tells you how many moles it took to neutralize the acid. That tells you how much acid there was. And now you know the number of moles of acid in this pill and you've done quality control that you, you have the right quantity of, of substances. Yeah, right, yeah, it should be more specific. This is liters of base, the volume that you added to get to the equivalence point times the molarity of the base. So that's why the liters of base cancel and you just get the moles of base, which happens to be equal to the moles of acid, assuming that they're reacting in a one-to-one -one ratio to do the neutralization. What? Well, this is this is the mo this is the molarity of the base. This ratio moles per liter is molarity. So this is moles of base per liter of base. That's what molarity is. This is moles of base divided by liters of base because molarity is moles per liter. I'm not sure what you're asking. Liters of base in that Yes, this is what that says. This says liters of base. So I'm, I'm multiplying this volume that I added, I convert that to liters, and then I multiply the liters of base added to the molarity of the base so that the liters will cancel. Because I want to know how many moles of base I added in that titration because I want to know how many moles of acid I started with. 